Hello, welcome to Paul's Take, and this is the Fisher Ocean. It's one of the newest electric cars out there, and even the newest electric car company. What do they have to offer? The coolest car? Mm, I would say, based on the pictures, not quite. Do they have the most innovative cars? Eh, based on the information, I don't see that either. It does seem like a rather nice car, though. And they actually are pretty smart in one sense. There is an issue with electric vehicles that I have. I got a feeling other people share the same hesitation. It is the battery. What in the world are we gonna do with that battery? Electric cars are interesting because electric motors will probably last about a million miles, maybe even longer. So the chassis and the motors will last forever, pretty much. But the problem is the batteries don't. The batteries do need to be replaced and they're very expensive. That to me is more of an issue than having it charged because if it's a daily commuter, it actually seems rather appealing to charge your vehicle at home. And if your company has her own charging parking spaces, you might be able to charge your vehicle for free. How cool would that be? So the problem, to be clear, is the fact that electric vehicles are expensive. You're gonna spend at least 30,000 maybe for like a, a Nissan Leaf, but you're gonna spend a lot more for a Tesla or other brands that are coming out that could be, you know, 50, 60, $70,000. What are you gonna get? Uncertainty. You don't know what's gonna happen. The vehicle might suck. Maybe it doesn't fit your lifestyle. Maybe it's not what you expect it to be. Maybe you want your ICE vehicle back. ICE is internal combustion engine vehicle. So what are you gonna do? Sell your vehicle, your, electric, your brand new electric car? Maybe you have it for a year or two and you said, well, you know what? I tried it, I don't like it, I'm gonna sell it. Or let's say you keep it even longer. Say you keep it for seven or eight years. But now you're like, you know what? I got an old car. It's time for me to get a new one. And I better sell it before the battery dies. Now you try to sell it and it's hard to sell. Why? Because nobody wants to buy a used electric vehicle with an old battery. The only way it'd be worthwhile is maybe to put another battery in it. So say you have your vehicle, you want to go trade it in. So they say, well, you know what? You, when you bought it, it was $60,000. We can give you maybe, eh, we could probably sell it for, for maybe $30,000 because it's eight years old. You sell it for, for $30,000. But we need to make a profit, plus we got to replace the battery. Well, the battery is $15,000. So you take the $15,000, subtract that from the $30,000. Now it's $15,000 that you're going to get, maybe. Not even that, because they still got to make a profit. So that's why the electric vehicle is a nightmare on Elm Street. So how did Fisker solve all these problems? Well, it was pretty, uh, pretty simple, pretty uh, innovative, something I've never seen before. It's called a lease. A lease? They got leases everywhere. You can lease in that thing. Even a Tesla or a Leaf or something. Okay, so they do. True, true. At least it's not completely innovative, but they have what they call a zero worry lease. What? Uh, I think it's called that. No, a fix. It's called a flex lease plan. The flex lease plan is something I've never seen before. Starting price is three seventy nine a month for a basic Leaf. I mean, it's not Leaf. Basic. Fisker. And uh, so the car is probably, you know, got the one motor, you know, front wheel drive or rear wheel drive, probably front. Um, pretty basic. But what's so cool about this lease is, for one, most leases you can drive like 10, 15,000 miles a year, which is like, then you have to worry about driving too much. And I drive a lot more than that. Maybe tw well, 15 to 20,000 miles. Well, the the uh, Fisker lease, you can do 30,000 miles. And the other cool thing about it, it is a lease where it's, uh, it's not a set term. Basically, you, 
You pay your down payment, which I believe it was like 2,500 bucks or 2,000, 2,500 bucks, something like that. Um, but then you keep as long as you want. If you want to keep it for a year, two years, three years, four years, keep it forever, it's fine. It's like, it's, there's no end period. Just keep it as long as you want and you pay the monthly fee. The other really cool thing about it, it includes your maintenance. So it's maintenance free. So when you buy it, you just drive it and just, that's it. You don't have to worry about it. Other places they have like a term, like even the, uh, the Nissan Leaf had a pretty nice deal, but it was a, it was a three year. And I have not kept a car for three years and who knows how long. So that's a, that's a pretty big commitment. This one is month to month. If you like it, you keep it. If you don't, you're bored of it. You're tired of it. Maybe you want to upgrade to a more powerful dual motor version. And you just turn it in whenever you want. And there's just like a little fee to turn it in. I believe it's like two or 300 bucks, but it wasn't that bad. And you just drop it off and you're done with it. You're, you're, you're completely free of it. You don't have to worry about the battery. If the battery starts sucking, then you just basically turn it in. If you like the car, just get another one. But that to me is definitely better than buying one outright. For the commitment, the uncertainty, you don't know. Actually, especially for a car like this, Fisker, because it's a brand new vehicle, brand new company, you don't know what you're gonna get. You don't know if they're gonna suck, if you're gonna like them, because of our service, so everything might be horrible. It might be great. Hopefully it's the best, but it might be horrible. Well, in this case, no worries. You like it, you keep it, you don't. Turn it in. So that's why I think they are pretty darn smart. What do you think? Do you like the uh, the Fisker? Do you like the way it looks? I don't know if I like the way it looks or not, to be honest with you. It seems practical. But I do like the fact, like for me, I do have a vehicle. I have a Jeep that I love, Jeep Wrangler. It's got 35 inch tires. And right now I'm commuting back and forth to work about 50 miles a day altogether. And it's putting a lot of miles on my car and it's costing money on gas. So I wouldn't mind something like this that would keep the miles off my Jeep because Jeeps are expensive. And, and I want to keep it forever. Whereas this electric vehicle is more of like a disposable vehicle, disposable item. You just use it, abuse it, and turn it in when you don't want it. It's like a rental, like a rental car, which is, uh, it works in this, in this uh, sense, where you have your true love in the garage, and this one, just drive it back and forth. Anyhow, that's my take on the Fisher of Ocean, Ocean Not Eleven. Uh, what do you think? Let me know in the comment box. Thanks for listening to Paul's Take. Make sure you like, subscribe for more videos.